Hello, in this video I will go over 10 questions that test your knowledge on the national airspace system, specifically on airport operations, markings and signs for the FAA Part 107 commercial drone exam. Most of the questions in this video are coming from the study guide I used to prepare for the exam, which I successfully passed with a 90% score in 2022. Check out the video on how I prepared for the exam in the link above and in the description. Take a look at the study guide I used in the description as well. The questions will use the Airman Knowledge Testing Supplement. I included links in the description if you do not have the supplement. The first question asks you about the recommended entry position for manned aircraft to enter an airport traffic pattern. When operating your drone in the vicinity of the airport, you must understand the manned aircraft traffic patterns. The standard airport traffic pattern, especially for airports without control towers, is for manned aircraft pilots to make all turns to the left. The upwind leg is a course flown by aircraft parallel to the landing runway in the direction of landing traffic. The upwind leg is typically flown at controlled airports and after the aircraft made a go around. The crosswind leg is a course that goes perpendicular to the takeoff runway. The pilot typically enters the crosswind lag after making the upwind lag. Then comes the downwind lag, which is a course flown parallel to the landing runway but in the direction opposite to the landing. Then there is a base lag and final approach lag. The final approach lag is the descending path after completing the base lag and extending to the point of touchdown. The preferred way for the aircraft to enter the traffic is at a 45 degree angle to the downwind wind lag heading somewhere towards the midpoint of the runway. Hence, this makes B the answer to the question. The second question asks what the number 9 and 27 on a runway indicate in terms of geographical orientation. To understand what the numbers 9 and 27 mean, imagine a compass showing magnetic north at 0 degrees, east at 90 degrees, south at 180 degrees and west at 270 degrees. The runway names would be similarly named by a number between 1 and 36, which shows the direction of the runway's heading relative to magnetic north. The numbering is in decadegrees, meaning number runway 22 is 220 degrees heading in the southwest direction, while runway number 4 is 40 degrees in the northeast direction. So just add one more zero to the runway number. If there is more than one runway going the same direction, the runway will have the letters L for left, R for right and C for center. This makes choice C the answer to this question, because runway 9 and 27 indicate 90 and 270 degrees direction relative to magnetic north. The third question asks you to identify the position of the aircraft relative to the runway given that it is going midfield left downwind to runway 13. To answer this question, it's not even necessary to look at the sectional chart. Runway 13 will go in 130 degree direction from northwest to southeast as indicated by the arrow. Left downwind means that the plane is to the left side and heading opposite and midway of the landing runway. This would place the aircraft east of runway 13, making choice A the answer. The fourth question asks you to identify the position of the aircraft relative to the airport given that the aircraft is on the short final for runway 9. The runway will run at exactly 90 degrees with landing from west to east. Being on the short final would place the aircraft right in front of the runway on the west and heading east. Hence the answer is B, meaning that the aircraft is to the west of the airport. The fifth question asks you whether operating a drone northeast of a nearby airport would conflict with a manned aircraft departing runway 36 utilizing a right traffic pattern. Let's take a look at the positions of each aircraft. First, runway 36 means that the aircraft will be departing from south to north with runway facing 360 degrees or precisely at magnetic north. Be aware that we are told by the common traffic advisory frequency that the aircraft will use the right traffic pattern as opposed to the standard left traffic pattern. This means that the aircraft will turn right towards the northeast on the crosswind lag. Since you are told that the drone is operated at northeast, the answer to this question is C, since the aircraft will overfly the area where you are operating your drone. The sixth question asks you to identify the actions that would comply with the ATC request for your drone operating south of the airport to stay clear of runway 6 final approach course. 
First establish that the runway 6 will face 60 degrees from southwest to northeast. The final approach will be a path facing 60 degrees in the southwest area. You are told that the drone is being operated just south of the airport, which is right here. To comply with the ATC request, you must stay clear of areas that are north and west from where you are, which makes A the answer to this question. The seventh question tests your knowledge of airport markings and signs. It asks you about the purpose of the taxiway directional sign when you are turning onto a taxiway from another taxiway. This is a chart from the study guide I used to prepare for the exam. Runways are paths from which aircrafts take off, while taxiways are paths that connect runways with other airport facilities. While this chart is black and white, it shows runway 19, which has a white dashed center line. It also shows two intersecting taxiways marked with solid yellow center lines. One common fact to remember is that runway markings are typically in white, while taxiway markings are typically yellow. There's also a taxiway directional sign right here before the taxiway intersection, which shows the direction to taxiway A. This next photo shows typical taxiway markings. First First, there is a taxiway location sign, which is written in yellow on black and identifies the taxiway on which aircraft is located. Second, there is a taxiway directional sign that this question asks about. The taxiway directional signs are written in black on yellow and show the direction of the upcoming taxiway at the intersection. Thus, the answer to this question is C. Choices A and B are both wrong, since taxiway directional signs are dealing with one taxiway leading out of another taxiway and have nothing to do with runways. The eighth question asks you to identify the actions of a pilot when his or her aircraft is approaching holding lines from the side with the continuous lines. By mentioning the side with the continuous lines, the question refers to the aircraft which is riding on a taxiway, since taxiways are roads marked by continuous lines. The holding lines on taxiways typically refer to this yellow dashed line on this taxiway and are present in areas with high traffic, especially by taxiway intersections. The aircraft must stop before these lines and seek clearance from the ATC at airports with controlled towers. Similarly, there are areas where taxiway transitions into runways, such as this area. There is also a holding position marker consisting of two solid and two dashed yellow lines. The aircraft must hold before for the solid lines and seek clearance from the ATC in towered airports. If the aircraft crosses the solid yellow lines, it's considered to be on the runway. Looking at the choices, the only correct answer to this question is B. The ninth question asks you to identify the purpose for the runway hold position markings on the taxiway. As I just mentioned, this question refers to these markings with two solid and two dashed yellow lines. This is where the aircraft must hold and seek ATC clearance before proceeding onto the runway. Hence, the answer is A. The tenth question asks you to identify actions by the drone pilot that will indicate compliance with the ATC Tower's request to stay clear of all runways. This again refers to this runway holding markings on taxiways. Remember, if your aircraft crosses solid lines, it's considered to be on the runway. Looking at the answers one by one, we can see that the answer A is incorrect because you are considered on the runway if you go beyond solid lines. Answer B is incorrect too because runways are marked marked with dashed white center lines. Answer B implies that you are on the runway. Hence, the answer is C, since being on the double solid yellow line side of markings near the runway implies that you are here and you are considered to be off the runway. This is it for today's tutorial. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe to our channel. We will have more tutorials that will help you prepare for the Part 107 exam. We also regularly post travel guides and photography tutorials. Feel free to ask any questions if you need clarifications for the material covered in this video.